Hi. In this video, we talk about status bar. Uh, you have here in the bottom. You can see uh, here are some info about your document you are in. For example, here we ha uh, have some info that we are at page one from fifteen. Uh, if I'm clicking here. I can navigate very easy to page, for example, number 13 or maybe 11. OK, and we are at page 11, as you can see in the corner now. We are on page 11. So it's very easy to navigate with this. The next one is word count. If we click here, we find how many uh, words are in our document here we have the style of the page we can modify for example the size of the page and so on so very easy from the status bar it's very uh, useful to have this on hand let's go to page number one the next one is uh, text language we can for the moment is not check spelling but uh, if I'm checking English uh, and if I select, uh, for example, let's make some mistakes here. Let's choose for all paragraph uh, English language and go to page one. You can see it's wrong. So I have a suggestion to go to status bar. Let's not check this. Let's go further. We have selection uh, about this. I've talked in a previous video, so I will not talk in this. I will give you the link in the description. The next one is an X uh, because the document has been modified and document has not been saved. If I'm clicking, I can save. And uh, now we, I have a check here, uh, meaning the document has been saved. Now it's again. Uh, X because the document has been saved from the last um, saved. Here we have view. For example, this is page after page, is the standard. The next one is multiple page. We can have um, much pages on the same uh, row, as you can see. The next one is a book uh, view. So I have the cover here and when I'm opening the book, I have page left, right page, left page, right page, and so on. Um, for example, it's very useful for writers, for example. Um, let's uh, check an example here. Let's make the background with color, like a brochure. I'm making a brochure or something, and I'm inserting something in the middle. Let's insert um, something that will be uh, also on the left page and on the right will be in the middle. So let's copy this. And if I'm ha if I have this book in my hand, will be in the middle of between two pages, as you can see. On the left page, I have on the right. On the right page, I have on the left these um, geometrical shapes. So in this view is very strange this is on the right but no connection with this on the left if i'm having a book in my hand printed will look like this uh, to the two uh, uh, geometrical shapes are connected here we have zoom we can zoom the document to minimum and then we have the whole page if i'm stopping here the height of the page if I'm zooming a little bit to the next point here, I have 100%. Like, uh, and we have the maximum of 600% uh, maximize the document. As you can see now, this is a maximum. So you can maximize a page very easy. Let's see another thing uh, we can use in status bar. 
uh, let's insert here a um, bookmark. For example, I'm inserting here a bookmark named bookmark1 and click to insert first, then go to the last page. I'm on the last page and I'm inserting a bookmark, bookmark2 and I'm inserting. If I go to page number we have a very uh, shortcut to bookmark, bookmark2 and bookmark1. So the status bar is very useful to navigate to a page, to navigate to bookmark, to change the um, size of the document and so on. I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe for more videos every week uh, and thanks for watching.